Ciao, what is up you guys? Everything looks so half-assed right now. And even the camera setup is really fucking light. This is usually smooth. In case you couldn't tell, I'm a little bit sick right now. I'm seriously fighting the urge to just lie down and take a long fucking nap right now. But I have a video to make. I got a weekly upload. Woo! Yeah, at 2 a.m. I woke up. I had a stuffy nose. I felt like shit. My tongue was burning. Um, and this video came to mind. I'm scared of going to a doctor. When I say I'm scared of going to the doctor, I don't mean I'm scared of what they're gonna do to me or what they they might diagnose me with. In fact, I'm pretty like trusting of doctors. I feel like they're professionals. I'll give them my life if I happen to die on an operating table. I died on an operating table. Like, it's not a big deal to me. What I'm scared of is wasting the doctor's time. Like, I feel like I have to be coughing blood in order to be worthy of seeing a doctor. When it comes to things like this, where I basically have a common head cold, as far as I know, I feel like I shouldn't be going out of my way to see a doctor, and I shouldn't make the doctor go out of his way to test me for like five minutes and then tell me, yeah, you just need some like Tylenol and some rest. Like, I feel like there is absolutely no point in me seeing a doctor when that happens, but I never seem to know when it's serious enough to actually need a doctor. I think one of the best examples of how I am really bad with my physical health was when I tried to sleep off a torn tendon. <laughs> I actually made a video about this a few days after it happened, and this was in like 8th grade. But to sum it up, it was basically just, I fell down 5 steps of stairs, I managed to tear my tendon and break some kind of plate in my ankle, which apparently is medical bullshit, it heals really fast because of puberty. And, um, I didn't call anyone for help. I didn't decide to ask my mom to take me to a doctor. I decided to go to bed with an ice pack on my foot, thinking that I could wake up and it would be fine. But what makes it worse is that I'm also such a fucking hypocrite. Like, whenever my friends tell me that there's something wrong with them, I will tell them immediately that, hey, you know, if this doesn't go away within the next couple of days, you should definitely see a doctor. It could be some kind of infection. It could be strep throat. It could be fucking, like, I don't know, cancer. <laughs> but despite telling all my friends to do this shit, I will never go to see a doctor myself. Like, I will just brush it aside and say, yep, give me a week and it will go away. And frankly, it does. Okay, most of the time, the shit that I put my body through goes away in a week. Even things like a cold or a flu or like a fever from like, since I was little up until like last year, I would never be sick for more than one or two days. And then ninth grade hit and I pushed my immune system to the fucking edge. Now, I don't know about your schools, but when I was in elementary school and middle school, the protocol for when you're sick was basically just don't come to school, call the office, tell them that you're sick, or get like a parent to tell them, and retrieve the work that you missed. It was as simple as that. And for some reason, in high school, they decided to complicate everything. So the same kind of concept carries over of if you're sick, don't come to school, call into the office, and explain that you're sick. But in high school, for some odd reason, they decide to add all this extra shit that I personally find is complete bullshit. Basically, if I were to be sick for a certain amount of time, like if I were to miss two days of school, the day that I get back from being sick, I have to pick up a form from the administration's office that basically collects all the signatures of the teachers whose classes I've missed. And the only reason I find it really fucking annoying is because they constantly tell us that we have to get the signature of every teacher whose class we missed in one day. And, you know, if I was in a semestered school, I probably wouldn't care as much. But because I do go to a semestered school, of a non-semestered school... I have that much more to worry about because I have to find the teachers who I don't even have that day that I return and I have to get all this done and then hand it back into the administration's office for what I think is absolutely no reason because the office knows that I'm sick. 
why do my teachers have to know that I'm sick with the validation of a motherfucking form? Like, this is such a waste of paper. Like, I, I wish I could just email the teacher on the day that I'm sick saying, yo, I'm, I'm not going to be here. I'm going to get the work, but I'm not going to be here for this one day because I have fucking liquid diarrhea squeezing out of my anus. Like, what the fuck? Why do I have to do all this shit? I'm really bad at explaining things when I'm not sick, so me right now is probably not helping anyone. But to sum it all up, it's just a bunch of effort and work that I really don't want to put into, and it's such a fucking hassle to get a cold in high school. This whole stressful process actually pressured me into going to school despite having nausea, a high fever, and almost being unable to breathe because all my orifices were so clogged. Like I said before, up until 9th grade, I had never been sick for more than a couple of days, but because I pushed my body that hard for a week, I was sick for way longer than I really should have been. I got sick on a Tuesday, and in my head, I was thinking, I'm going to push to the end of this week, and then I'm going to take the weekend to just relax and contain myself. Basically, Friday was a day I could not handle it anymore. Like, within a five minute drive of going to school, my mom noticed that I had passed out in the car. Just five minutes, and I was just, out like I was breathing heavily I was not at all in good health so I ended up taking Friday off and trying to heal up and by the time Monday rolled around I was like I really I'm okay I'll be great and I never even filled out the forms because I said fuck it I don't really care but seriously fuck this whole process I don't want to go to school tomorrow but I don't want to deal with that but yeah, I don't want this video to go on for any longer because I really want to take a nap, but I also need to upload this video and edit it, and that's not the order of doing things. So yeah, that's the end of this week's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys aren't feeling sick like I am, and I hope you have a wonderful, awesome week. But before I end this video, I'm planning to do a Q&A next week, so if you have any questions, please comment them down below or ask me on my social media. I have Instagram, Vine, don't have Twitter, I got Snapchat though, I also have an AskFM, and you know, all the links are in the description down below, so follow me on that shit, and ask me some questions because my birthday is coming up in like two weeks and I'm gonna vlog it, but before that I would like to answer some of your questions. It doesn't have to be relating to me, if you want some advice from fucking 14 year old senpai, I'm over here, and yeah, I have my life figured out. Woo! But anyways, that's it for me this week. See you guys next week and Coda.